design technology is a new course to Deakin University. What we're trying to achieve is the industrial designer or the future designers of 2020. So we really want this to be a progressive course, not looking at only technology, but how design, technology, engineering, and the world around us all interact together. Because ultimately all the products that we design come with human interaction. And with that human interaction, we need to design better products. Within design technology, we've got three main disciplines. The first one being industrial design, the second being sports technology, and the third being medical technology. The reason why we've got these disciplines is we see them as emerging fields. Industrial design has been around for many, many a year, and it's a well-established course. But with the Deakin spin on it, we've got a really heavy technology emphasis on it. Sports and medical technologies are part of our society today. We all love sports being here in Australia, but also medical. Because we've got an aging population, we've got more emphasis on wellbeing and health, that we need the new technologies that are going to take us further, have a healthier and a better lifestyle. One project I've been able to work on is uh, the integration of a tablet computer into a car. I wanted to put a stereo in my car, and I didn't think there was anything out on the market that would kind of suit my needs and wants. So I figured, why not kind of come up with my own solution and put an iPad in the car? Because it's a lot cooler than just a normal stereo. In my final year project, I've been able to do some 3D printing, which has allowed me to physically hold and see what I've been working on and improve upon it, make it better, iteration after iteration. If you can actually see something in front of you rather than on a computer screen, it's a lot easier to kind of get a grasp of what you're working on. I think the kind of skills that I've got at Deakin will allow me to work in a lot of different places. Really good thing for design technology students is in 2015 we'll be opening the cadet facility with a whole range of design studios, prototyping labs, fabrication, mechatronics, electronics. Uh, they'll have a huge amount of resources where they'll be able to actually test their ideas, not just in theory but in practice. They'll be able to go into one room and come up with an idea or a concept and take that concept to a fully tangible product at the end of the day, so to speak. Some of the strengths we've got here at Deakin University is our really interactive way of learning. It's problem-orientated learning. So students aren't just going to be doing simple linear problems in the classroom. They're actually going to get their hands dirty and build prototypes, test ideas, go out and interview people, and really see what impact their designs, their products, and their outcomes will actually have on people around them. Design appeals to me in a way that it's not just about how aesthetically pleasing something is, but how it functions. Last trimester I worked on a train, metro train system barrier gates on AutoCAD. So basically it's just um, barriers, physical barriers between the passengers and the trains. Because we don't have it, but like in the States and in Singapore they have it. And it looks nice, it kind of ties everything together and it's safety. And we don't have that, so I thought, yeah, why not? Industry is a massive part of the design technology course. The School of Engineering Bomb Cycles have had an enduring relationship. It's been going for over four years now, and it started with a small project of being the smart bike in 2010. What we wanted to showcase there was some of the technology that Deacon had and how we can actually make a difference uh, for a small to medium enterprises such as Baum Cycles. So students will be able to interact with the likes of Darren Baum, who has his own business, who uses technology day in, day out, and has a really highly valuable product. It's a very well sought after product, and students will be able to gain the benefit of that interaction, and that's part of our industry relationships. Form Cycles is one of our partners, really encapsulates what we're trying to achieve in our design technology course, where they create highly value-added products. So they take everything from the design, looking at the individual user. We'll actually have seminars where industry will participate. They'll actually pose problems and interact with the students on a weekly and trimester basis. So this is one thing we're really passionate about, and we've actually selected industry partners to be part of our advisory board, not only to advise what we do as a course, but also advise our students, mentor them in skills such as entrepreneurship, starting businesses, and just getting better products out there. The career opportunities are really limitless for our design technology students. We want them to be the future leaders in this design space. We want them to come up with new ideas, challenge the conventions of what is a product today. We want them to be able to go into everything from manufacturing to design firms to architecture firms, even to banking and finance, and take the skills that we teach them, those design thinking skills, and we want them to apply them in a very new context because what we know in today's Australia is that everything's changing. We're becoming a very highly agile marketplace and we need graduates that think in that way and so we want these students to be our future leaders in the next 20 to 30 years.